Jillian McKeith's 23-year-old daughter Afton, an actress and dance coach, has uploaded a post claiming that David Beckham's eldest son Brooklyn had blocked her. Who is the most famous person that's ever blocked you? This one, she said in a post while gesturing to Brooklyn's page. The star, who appeared in a Saved by the Bell retrospective series, told her TikTok followers that she could no longer access his Instagram page after their historic romance turned sour. Brooklyn and Afton had attended the same private school together, along with Madonna and Guy Ritchie's son Rocco. The star also elaborated that she recently had an awkward run-in with Brooklyn and his wife Nicola Peltz in a supermarket. She had told the son, I didn't watch any of his wedding. I actually don't keep up with what he does. However, she added, I actually bumped into him not so long ago in Los Angeles at my local supermarket, Erewhon, and her as well. It was extremely awkward. In an indication that she has no hard feelings over the emotional split, she clarified that she hopes the couple have a long and happy marriage. She has also revealed that she likes Brooklyn's parents David and Victoria, although she described the latter as protective over her son. She now declares herself better off without him, while her mum, an Emma celebrity and You Are What You Eat star, shocked the world when she said, I'm glad, Brooklyn's, gone. She playfully added, no boyfriends, for Afton, now until she is 25. Meanwhile, Brooklyn's wife is in the same industry as Afton, with IMDb claiming she is an impressive force to be reckoned with on the acting scene. Nicola received a Young Hollywood Awards nomination for her role in Transformers, Age of Extinction in 2014. Other career highlights since her 2006 debut have included an appearance in Miley Cyrus' video Seven Things and in Zayn Malik's video for It's You. However, besides a string of acting roles in American dramas, she was also nominated for Worst Supporting Actress for her performance in The Last Airbender, 2011. Meanwhile, she will make her debut as a director in the forthcoming film Lola James.